you came into it, even subconsciously, did that sort of fear or, or inferiority come from? Um, I think it's just important to uh, do the basics in training and follow the athlete's objectives and, and the plan that he sets out and whatever he sets us out to do and kind of try and recruit that to the best we can. Do you do it to tackle it psychologically or as well as the more physical things you can do? Um, not really. I feel like psychology, psychology it kicks in when you're playing. I don't feel like you can keep that kind of freedom before the game. So when the game's going on, anything could happen in the game. The fans could be ch chanting loud or the atmosphere could be going. It could get into your nerves and you could create, you know, make mistakes in games or do the wrong things. But I feel like when you've got a mental state straight away. I'm just looking at quotes from the manager saying that you've got a score to settle against Rangers. I'm sure you won't agree with that. But, I mean, do you feel that? And what do you think you need to do differently? To get a different outcome? Because we, when we last played them, that's the only time I can go after is we, we, we thought we played very well. We were leading for large periods of the game and we lost the game through a lapse of concentration of our own errors that we conceded goals from. So as long as we can learn from that, then I think we'll be fine. Just finally, as captain of the club, there's, a, there's always an expectation with Aberdeen to, to win silver there given the size of the club. What's your Understanding of that expectation, what fans demand, something like that. Um, from what the club has achieved previously, it's definitely a high expectation. Um, as players, it's down to us to rise to that expectation and try and achieve the things that the fans want and the club has achieved in the past. So I wouldn't say the expectation is anything bad. I think it's a positive thing, and as players, we've got to rise to it. And you played Rangers twice this season. The, the game at Ibrox, I think Antonio Kolak started against at Petodje. It was Alfredo Morelos both. Very good strikers. How did you find them to, to play against and what kind of differences in their game? Um, for me, they're two completely different strikers. Um, I do rate one better than the other. But personally, it's <laughs> You've got to give us it. I would say I prefer I would, the Colox are a better striker than Morelos and Madden. And what, based on? Just the whole all round game. I've played against both of them and I kind of, kind of did my thing on them. And seeing see you're going to the game, you don't, maybe Michael Beale might start Kolak, he might start Morelos, they're both fit. Yeah. Do you prepare differently for each striker? What do you do in the kind of preparation? Just analyse both of the players? Yeah, I just analyse what they do, what they're 